Welcome to the first workout video in the Team Brock Ashby Body Quarters. This is the gym that I have built here in Sydney, Australia. And today we're going to be training upper body. We're gonna be doing some heavy compounds. We're gonna be doing some lighter isolated work after that. First of all, I'm just gonna finish my coffee, which is my pre-workout, black coffee. That's what I'm all about. Let's do it. Ah, tastes like gains. The current focus of my workout program at the moment is to get strong. So I'm doing a five by five program. We're starting off on the incline bench. So I'm just setting that up now. Feels pretty good. Before I start any warm up sets, I'm going to ensure that my rotator cuffs are warm when warming up or when doing, when training my chest, especially on a heavy bench. So I'm going to do some external rotator cuff work here. Get this a little bit higher. So we want it to be just at hip height. Here, keeping this arm locked in. We'll go 10 each side. Two. We'll do one more set of those each side, then we'll start going into the warm-up sets. With the warm-up sets, I have a rule. You're never too strong for the bar. So even though I think I have a pretty impressive incline bench press, we want to make sure that we still warm up with the bar and then slowly warm up as we go. You're never too strong for the bar. Even though we're only going for five reps in the working sets with our warm up, I still like to do around 15 to 20 reps just on the barbell itself. With the same intent that I'm going to lift the five by five weight with. Now we're going to do our first warm up set. Second warm up set is going to be 70 kilos because my first target weight when I'm lifting my first working set is going to be 120 kilos, five by five. So I'm gonna go 70, then I'm gonna go up to 100, then I'm gonna go 110, then my first working set will be 120. Now that we're starting to get closer to our working weight, we're at 100 kilos, I'm gonna take the reps down to five. Still feeling pretty easy. Now we're gonna go up to 110. One thing I actually forgot to do was to bump that up one. I like that to kind of push against my butt to help me with my leg drive. Instead of doing five reps of this 110 kilos, I'm just gonna do three to save my energy for the 125 by five. Here we go. So that's all my warm up sets done. I'm now ready to get into my 120, five by five. Just while I was walking around, I was thinking about this term. So what I always like to do is put the biggest plates on possible. And it was just like a kind of, I, I, I guess like a cheesy law of attraction thing. Like always put the biggest on that you can, you know, do your best, always put the biggest on. And then I just thought of it, mate, biggest plate mindset or big plate mindset. And I'm gonna coin that, I'm gonna steal it. If someone's already thought of it, then it is what it is. But I think big plate mindset is what you need. Always put the biggest plates on possible. Don't bother with like a 25 and then like two 10s and then a five. Put the heaviest weights on possible that you can to make that weight to get into that big plate mindset. Let me know in the comments if you like that term. Set one. I'm only meant to have two minutes rest. So what we're gonna do is time it. Add a timer, two minutes on, and then this is going to count down. I know it's upside down, but I'm too unflexible to put it around the other way. 
A big mistake a lot of people do when doing strength training, which this is, they don't rest enough. We're using an energy system, our ATP energy system. We need, you know, at least two minutes. So, you know, I might even take a little bit more if I'm feeling it. That did feel pretty heavy. <laughs> I've got four sets left. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I did jump the gun a little bit. I did 115 five by five last week and through the principle of progressive overload, I have to lift heavier. I could have gone 117.5, uh, but I'm backing myself on 120 for five. So let's see how that goes. Time is almost up. See that? Four, three. Oh, come on. Here we go. All right, time to go in. two down Woo. okay technique tips um, driving our toes into the ground squeezing your butt so you have that glute drive or that leg drive and the bench press makes a big difference um, in terms of width I like to go just like outside my shoulder width um, it feels pretty good if I go too narrow I just feel it more on my triceps if I go too wide it just feels uncomfortable for my shoulder so it's kind of this in between for that um, I'm locking my shoulder blades back and down to set them in place. Uh, I want a nice controlled eccentric on the way down, two to three seconds, and then one second up. Well, your intent should be one second up, but towards the end, obviously, it doesn't move with one second. Sometimes it's more like two, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. tell you what the fourth set's gonna be rough that last set I just got there you know what but I don't mind if I hit four reps or or a bit less on the last one I'm gonna keep the weight just because this is the final week of the program and in your final week of your workout program I'm in my fourth week right in my final week I want to be pushing to absolute failure now look I don't want to do it too much here because I'm training by myself and if the weight gets stuck on me I'm doomed First off, my microphone's gonna be doomed, but my life might be doomed. So I'm going to, you know, maybe get four reps on the next one. That moves pretty slow. We'll see. All right, set number four. All right, let's go. Let's go. Deep breath. Five reps, come on. Let's go, you got it. Let's go. All right, we got five more reps. I think I can do it after that set. That felt amazing. Two minutes on. I think we got this in the bag. All right, let's do it. To my best knowledge, this is a PB. 125 by five, here we go. Breaking records in the Ashby house. Let's go. Three, two. Yeah, buddy. Moving on to the second five by five exercise in this program, we are doing the weighted pull-ups with a pronated grip. Now, I'm feeling pretty warm after that incline bench, so I'm just going to do one body weight set of five reps, then I'm gonna get my weight and do my first working set. I'm going for, I think, 20 kg five by five weighted pull-ups. First of all, we will do our warm-up set. Hat's going backwards, let's get the weight. 
So we're going here. So I'm using a 20 kilo dumbbell, tying it over. And my end result is going to look like this. I'm not sure if you can see the 20 kilo, 20 kilo here because of the, the angle of the shot that I'm using. But we got 20 kilos around my waist and we're gonna do five reps, five sets of five. Two minutes rest. Here we go. You ready? Boom. Let's go. Two minute rest. Set number two. Let's go. Set three. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Oh. So what we're thinking here when we're doing these pull-ups, as opposed to just thinking of uh, pulling your chin over the bar, which you kind of naturally want to think, I want you to think of pulling your elbows down to the floor and to the back wall. That's gonna give you a, a good uh, cue to use your lats whilst you're doing this instead of just using your biceps, which is what a lot of people do. But your lats are bigger than your biceps and stronger, so we wanna utilize them. One more set. Time's up. Let's smash out the fifth set. Here we go. Five by five, 20 kilo pull up. Let's go. Last set. One. Two. Three. Elbows down. Oh. Now it's done. Let's go. Moving on. Next we have seated dumbbell overhead press. Superset with a prone dumbbell row. Laying down on the bench, rowing for some back. So we're going uh, three sets of eight on each. And for the uh, seated dumbbells, I'm not gonna do any warm-up sets. I'm feeling very warm. I'm gonna go straight for the 35s for eight. And with the prone dumbbell row, I'm going to go 30 kilos for the row for eight. And that's gonna be one weight heavier than my uh, previous week on the program. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yesterday I did a video on lateral raises, so my shoulders are pretty cooked. <sighs> Here we go. <sighs> Let's go. Eight reps. One. And we're going for about 60 to 90 seconds rest in between each exercise. I like to bias this row 
towards the lats. So I come through more of a kind of arc motion as opposed to straight back, which would be more for the rhomboids because lats are probably my weakest body part, I would say. All right, here we go. Weights are definitely my limit. <sighs> Set number two. <sighs> Come on, buddy, let's go. <sighs> oh, my head. I like to squeeze the bench with my inner thigh as well. Oh mate, I'm getting toasted. Final set for in dumbbell row times eight. Here we go. Last superset is dumbbell chest fly with prone dumbbell lateral raise, 10 reps each. One, two, three, slightly pointing our thumbs down as we get to the bottom. Oh, I think that's five, I lost count. Seven, thumbs to the floor at the bottom. Eight, just a little bit. That's nine. Oh, that's ten. Prone dumbbell lateral raise for ten reps. I know this exercise doesn't seem very hard and even though I'm only using four kilos this is about you know by the third set I know that I'm, I'm going to be close enough to failure to get a return for my training all right set one down two left Uh, 
Final set, dumbbell chest fly for 10 reps. Nice stretch at the bottom. Oh, five. Come on. Six. Thumbs down slightly at the bottom. Seven. Oh. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, yeah. Prone dumbbell lateral raise for 10 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Too easy. Let's go for more. Three more. Fourteen. Oh, Fifteen. Maybe it was too light after all. That's the meat and potatoes of the workout done. We've hit chest. We've hit uh, with the pull-ups. We've hit our back, lat dominant. Uh, we hit our shoulders with the overhead press, and then we did. Uh, what do we do after that? Uh, we did the prone dumbbell row, so rhomboid focused back work. And then we did the chest fly, so more chest work on top of that. And then we did the prone dumbbell lateral raise, so more shoulders. Now we're finishing off with abs. Personally, I don't program any arm work myself. I find that through my heavy compounds, my bench press, um, you know, dumbbell work, heavy dumbbell chest press, overhead press, and, and, and the back work, my biceps and triceps get enough work. So personally, I don't program them. I'd rather spend the volume uh, building up other parts, uh, especially like my shoulders and lats, which I feel are my weak points. So we're going to finish with the hanging gar hammer raise and for the rep count i'm just going to you know till i can't really so that's going to be somewhere between eight to ten so with the hanging gar hammer raise we're coming up to this point and doing the knee raise from there one breathing out on the way up two three four Oh man, this is a killer. It looks very easy, this one, because you feel like you're just standing from halfway through a hanging knee raise, but the first portion of the hanging knee raises, your hip flexors, so we don't really need to do that point. But from, you know, parallel to the ground up, you're crunching your abs. That's where all the ab work is. That's why I can only do eight and I'm toast. Two more sets of around about eight, maybe even six. Last set of the hanging guy hammer raise. Let's do it. Eight reps. Come on, let's just go for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man. That is it. I'm done, my abs are done, my chest is done, shoulder and back is done. We are wrapped there and we finished this upper body workout. I'm still out of breath from, from finishing the workout. 
I'm gonna put the program, uh, sorry, the workout up here. So you can try it if you want to, you can screenshot it, give it a go, let me know how it goes. If you have any questions around my training, why I program this way, why I do certain techniques this way, please ask them in the comments, let me know. And if you do like this type of content, I'll continue making it. Once again, I'm pretty new to YouTube. I only have 12 and a half thousand subscribers trying to grow it. I'm honestly led by you. So whatever you want to see, you know, and uh, whatever value or education or entertainment you want, I'm gonna try and create it. So please let me know in the comments if you do want any programs to train like me, to, you know, not necessarily look like me, but, you know, try and develop your strength, try and build muscle, try and drop body fat. That's what I do for a living. I'm an online body transformation coach that works with people all over the world. Majority of my clients are in the US, though I train people in Asia, in Australia, in New Zealand, uh, in Africa, in Europe, everywhere. So all you need is a Wi-Fi connection, really, and uh, be able to download an app that I coach you from. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.